what is good youtube family it is your boy patio and i am back with another tutorial and today what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be breaking down this new drake type sample that i composed it's a part of my new sample pack patterns which is out now so if you guys have not checked that out the link to it will be in my description definitely support your boy but make sure you guys comment you like and you subscribe and do not forget to destroy that notification bell you know i love it when you guys are always there checking out my videos and supporting me also make sure you guys hop in the discord server man it's really lit in there we're also in there plotting to a bag but let's get into today's dope sample so as you can see today's sample is actually composed of five parts i have a bass line a piano I have some synth one shot chords. I have a bell one shot counter melody and a main bell one shot counter melody. So when I first started making this melody, the first thing I laid down was these chords using this synth one shot that I found. And one of my, you know, I have a lot of one shot packs from a lot of different people, but I believe it was either a bass one one shot pack or a Steven Schaefer one shot pack. Either or it was a really great synth one shot and i just kind of programmed some chords the chords i kind of put down were the c i think this is a c major seven b minor seven this is a d sharp diminished seven and this is a e minor so all very simple chords typical seven chords And so the first thing I really added when it came to processing was Sketch Cassette 2. And I kind of left it in the default settings. Um, and I just kind of really tampered with the wow and flutter knobs as far as the rate knobs of each. And I kind of moved up the age a little bit. And I did this because I wanted it to sound, you know, a lot more like wavy. Like I know how 40 does the underwater effect. I was trying to create my own underwater effect. Next, I used this reverb from the effect rack called Shift Verb, and I really didn't touch much of anything here. It's just a really good preset that I usually like to use sometimes to get away from the typical reverb. And so I really wanted to use this to once again go along with the water effect because I wanted it to sound like it was underwater or it was in like a hallway. Like I wanted that to be really like moist. Lastly, I EQ'd the sound, taking out a lot of high end and some of the low end while messing with and increasing some of the mid frequencies of the sample and i use the eq a part of the mixer channel nfl to take out some more of the low end and next i added a bass line using this really dope vst a part of the rolling cloud called pro mars and i used this preset called the saw long bass and i just really loved how hard and raw this bass sample was As far as processing the bass sound, I typically go with this bass preset in the effect rack called Fat Chorus. I just like how it widens the bass and makes it more fuller, in my opinion. And after that, I really use the mixer in the mixer channel to take out some of the high end so it could be more in the lower frequencies. Next, I found this really hard bell in this one shot pack, and I created this really simple yet really effective counter melody. It was really dope. I really liked this one shot when I processed it, it. I liked it even more, to be honest. And the first thing as far as processing this one shot, I used this really effective delay preset in the effect rack called delay, hang it back 300 milliseconds. And I really like the overall moistness <laughs> that it gave to the one shot. Next, I added my absolute favorite VST sketch cassette two, and I left it in the default settings once again and tamper with the wow and flutter knob 
and increase the age. And lastly, I added some panning so it could move around a little bit, give the sample some more movement using the minor movement preset in Pan Man. And I always only mess with the width knob to control how wide it pans. So pretty much after I laid all those three parts down, I needed to add another counter melody because I really like the ghouly, spooky vibe that the overall sample was giving. So I found another bell one shot and I laid this really ghostly sounding like Drake type counter melody. effect vst i used to really give it the ghostly effect i used the delay memory brigade using the 1.4 delays next i use one of my second also absolute favorite vsts a part of the sound toys collection the primal tap and i use this preset really great preset called the spring verb chorus i overall know that i mess with either of the adjust the rate and the depth knobs and sometimes i'll mess with the multiply knobs just to try to test some new effects and next i added a little bit of eq taking out a lot of high end and a lot of low end while enhancing some of the frequencies between the the 200 to the 2k range so i was trying to create here like more so of a telephone effect and for the last part of this sample i added these really great piano keys piano is like one of the most important instruments when it comes to my samples i feel like and so i used the piano v2 using an upright jazz piano to lay down some really daunting piano chords <laughs> So the first thing I added to the keys when processing the sample was I added reels and I kept it in the default settings and really only tampered with the tape knobs. So I took out all of the noise and I turned off the timing, like the reverb, the echo, and I really just tampered with the harshness, decreasing it a little bit, and I decreased the wow and flutter. Lastly, I EQ'd the sample, taking out a lot of the high end and a little of the low end while messing with the mid frequencies there also and then double backing with the eq that is also a part of the mixture channel but thank y'all for coming and tuning in make sure you guys check out the pattern sample pack out now i will be dropping a new surprise for y'all sometime soon and just let me know what you guys think